Hello all and welcome back uh, to episode 10 of this balanced Dwarven Dwergar Bard multi-class walkthrough slash playthrough, one of those. Um, let's get into it, let's go straight away, let's get into it, let's find the right save. As you can see I've been playing other saves as well. I didn't do the end of episode save like I said I was going to, but it's effectively this one. Um, so I'll do that now. Put it pop in the end of episode nine, and then tidy up our saves. When the game loads, I I, I love BG three as you can tell, but oh god, those loading screens. Whoo! There we go. Right, let's just pop in a save here. I was supposed to do this, but um, on the last episode, but it was very early in the morning, and I needed to get some sleep. All right, so we do that. Oh, come on! Right, we're just going to delete all this. We don't need them anymore. There we go. Right then. Let's make sure we've got all our buffs up. It looks like we've done that. Um, I know where I am on the quest. It's just making sure we've got all our buffs up, ready to go in the next leg of our journey. So let's get our long strider up and running. Oh, come on! There we go. Get a bit closer to Karlak so we can get the level two off. Okay, and target us as well. Boom, let's have a quick check of our inventory. Did we do a tidy up? Oh, I saw these quest items. Did we read this? Yeah, apparently we so. Right, get that to camp then, out of the way. Uh, looks like our inventory is quite tidy, so we don't need to pop into the traders. I'll send those to our character. We'll send that off to camp as well. This is the kind of thing I would normally do um, at the end of the previous episode, but uh, just didn't really get around to it. There we go, that's done that. Let's sort our inventory out as well. Send these items to camp. I might want to use them at a later date or something like that. Everything else is equipped. We've got a couple of extra torches. They can go to camp. Coming up to another stash sort. What food items in our bag? Oh, that can go to camp as well. Don't want to carry those. It's a lot of weight to carry around. We've got any alchemy stuff that needs doing? Yep. Don't use that. Oh, yes. Bloodlust. Don't use any of the others. No greater healing potions. Got some potions of speed. Which I'll look at see how many we've got. Alright. I'm not going to pop into the... Yes, we are. Because have we got the traders? No. Let's have a look for journal. Journal update's always good. Let's get through all the ticks and stuff. Okay, now I know where I am. Right, let's get rid of all the completed ones then. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. I should have got rid of all the completed ones. Yep, there we go. Right, okay. Um, waypoint. Goblin camp. There we go. Journal update defeat the goblins. Right. 
we've got we got rid of Minthara in a previous episode. Gart is now gone, that just leaves Jorasklin. And that's where we're off to now. Turn off that light now, killed all these guards. There we go, that's better. What a mess we made in here, and there's Roa. There's the spiders we killed. Okay. Come on. Come on, my beauties. Right, there's no there's a war drum there but it's pointless to kill it like we did in the other uh, ones because the only goblins left are the one in Dorazglin's camp which is just here so what we're going to do is we're going to stealth and get out of the way of that goblin in the cage that's it gonna open the door and in we go We can sit in here quite safely, so now what we're going to do is separate our party out and get them in their respective places. It does take a little bit of setup time, but um, it does work out in the long run, makes it a lot easier to deal with the goblins. We can get all these candles just to help with our um, obscurity. And therefore our stealth, just got to make sure we target the, the candles. There you go, so we turn off those. And as you can see now on the avatar, the obscurity is gone to light rather than nothing. Get this one over here as well. And we sit our avatar right here. Just in front of that candle, just between those two things so we can sort of see draw Rasklin down there doing his speech and stuff. Let's see what we do. Come on, there we go. Let's move our monk, Lozelle. She goes on a bit of a journey. You can see another door in the top left of the screen, but that door is actually locked. Opening it, it does require a lockpick skill of, I can't remember the difficulty level, but it is quite high. Um, and if you fail, you aggro the entire room. Uh, and then you either have to save scum or you just have to deal with it. I just do it this way because, you know, it's easier. Now the goblin, the great thing about it is the goblins don't move, so you can actually position yourself quite well here. So we're going to sit ourselves here, like that. And then we go to our druid, our high druid hyling. And this one is going to sit just in this little gap here. And then finally we've got Karlak, our thrower. Our other missile ranged DPS. She also comes all the way around here. While I'm doing this, I'll just again point out because of the glitch with the uh, returning pike, we may have to uh, reload the save. Once everyone's in position, we will do a quick save. If you're not understanding what I'm talking about is, there's a returning pike. Karlak is a berserking thrower. She's got one level rogue, as you can see, and then three levels as a barbarian berserker. So we've got the returning pike here, this, and it states homing weapon. This weapon will return to its owner when thrown. Doesn't always do that. Uh, if you've watched previous episode, you'll have evidence of what happens. So, yeah. Karlak 
Karnak does have a missile weapon, or a long range weapon, I think she's got a bow. Um, but her main damage comes from using that pike. Right, so everyone's in position. We've done our quick save. And then we're going to do, um, we're going to do this fight and then we're going to do some other bits. And then essentially we go into another long rest. So we are literally going to use all of our resources here. And the first thing we're going to do as our bard is uh, College of Swords bard is use slashing flourish ranged, which gives us two attacks. And we're going to hit draw Rascalin straight away. There we go. got a bonus action well there's not much we can do here but we do have the highest initiative so it leaves all our stealthers can actually get our turns so the first thing we are going to do is actually quick save again just in case and then hopefully Karlak can do her throwy thing and have her pike return to her excuse me goes oh she gets it back lovely jubbly let's rage boom we end Karlak's turn but keep our avatar because we've still got other stealthers so our monk here positions quite a little bit better now everyone all the other goblins are in their place you can see that the stealth thing has changed what we're going to do with our monk is try and take out the uh, Buyags and they're the warlock and the warlock there as well. These are the spell casters. One casts bless and one casts hex most of the time. So we just want to take them out. So we're just going to go flurry of blows. Hopefully it's a one shot. There we go. That one's down. We then take our normal attack and hopefully hit this warlock over here. And that one's down as well. Pick up all their gear. We end that turn and then we go to our friendly neighborhood hireling druid. Um, and we are going to. We're going to spike growth first. No, we're not. We're going to fairy fire. And we are actually going to do level two. We're going to target as many things as possible. Boom. And then we're going to shapeshift, wolf, spider, I'm going to look see what we've got, I think it's still just going to be bear, yeah, let's just shapeshift into a bear, Rawr. and then we still get an attack I believe, once it's updated, we do, do we get an attack, now it's in combat, there we go, and unfortunately it's put us right down to the bottom but we are in position um, we are just gonna we've got all our spell slots as I said we're gonna do a thingy so we're just gonna pop a healing ward onto the bear to proc all of our things from our gear there we go so that now gives it bless as well we end our turn and see what everything does, which is mostly going to be surprise, 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 surprise. Which on this occasion serves us well, because our bear can just get in there and kill things. Boom, that's that done. Unfortunately, bear's only got one XP um, and no bonus actions. So, not much else we can do. It does mean we go to our um, swords bard again and we're just going to target Drow Raskin and there we go that's him down and out we go for our thrower start targeting the other goblins that are around path interrupted there we go there's another one got it and the pikes come back so we get the enraged throw on the pike there's, a rest of, there's three goblins apparently, or three combatants. Path interrupted. Path interrupted, that one's dead anyway. So use the auto target feature. 
Path interrupted. Ah, oh, there we go. We've got one. Got it. All right, then. Thankfully, our monk has got super, super move speed. So we're just going to um, topple this one. The devout, hopefully. Boom. And then finally, we've got our unarmed normal attack and take out the swan. There we go. There's an illithid parasite in that corpse. You should take a look. And that's how easy Draw Rascalin is with a little bit of setup and some um, gearing, etc. And remember, if you're coming up for these barrels, there are lots of smoke powder barrels here. You do not want to come up here with any sort of torch out because the torch will ignite the smoke barrels and you'll die in a massive explosion. Do all the food. There we go. We'll take our avatar down to draw the Rasklin and we'll loot that. Karlak gets to go over to the cage. There. We'll get into Ezel and she can heal everything else and pick up everything else. loot everything we can for that lovely gold to buy all our items that we want the other reason I do it that way is so we ignore the all of the chatter and dialogue you get with Draw Rasklin which can lead to a very uncomfortable discussion and uh, harder fight because we all come from stealth as you see everything gets surprised so effectively you get two rounds of combat before they uh, get to do much other than the bear because the initiative was quite low right, and we go over here and whilst she's walking we go to our avatar and loot Joel Raskin himself there we go there's faith breaker, let's get tall bars on. There you go. There's his weapon he uses, there's his key, and there's the parasite, and another scroll. This one is a true soul parasite. It can enhance you. You can absorb its potential. Open your mind to it. You already know how. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with the parasites yet, so. I'm just going to go with number two, and I'm not sure about this. You need to decide what you're doing before. Don't worry. You won't come to harm. I'll protect you. You are not ready. That's all right. But try to overcome this resistance sooner rather than later. It will make things much easier for you. There we go. We're going to shift over to Karlak. Uh, and then we've got the key. So there you go. As it says, Karlak has taken Draw Rascal's key from Juliet using magic pockets. And then we are walking over to the stash pile. The reason I like getting Karlak to do it is get more Infernal Island. You get a little bit of dialogue. So we're actually going to um, loot things. There's some front lining gloves if you want them. There's a spring set boots, which is quite nice. Get some gold, a couple of gems. And you also get this, which is completely pointless. You sell it. And then we get the last item here. There we go. Nice little Karlak dialogue. If you wanted to pick up the smoke barrels, you can do. They're quite nice to throw with people with high strength. On our run, that would be Lazelle or Karlak. Um, otherwise... They can sell them, but they don't sell for much. 
finish looting this area and take all the other items. It also means with Drow Rusklin's death, Rower Moon Glow, the trader in this area, has now gone. I think we've got all the loot now. We've already done the moon thing, we did that one earlier. Turn the lights off. Many candles. There we go. So we go back to our avatar. We group everyone up. And now, if you haven't already done so, you would go and you would go and kill the spiders down here. But we already killed them. Uh, so we are now going to go and talk to the goblin in the cage. The cage is trapped, but we uh, did the trap in a previous episode. We now have the uh, key, and more importantly, um, he'll actually leave because there's no other goblins around. He jumps out. Here we go. Ha. Look at where the absolute love gone. Dead. Thanks for breaking me out gonna find me a new tribe one that appreciates the old ways by old ways he refers to goblins that still uh, revere McGloviet as their god okay so now that's done oops wrong button again we go back to the Emerald Grove Drop a quick save. There we go, and off we go. We're also going to take our bear out of wild shape form. There we go. The only reason I'm doing that is because we are coming for a long rest. Um, that's it, really. Door. There we go. The most annoying bit about going in constantly kind of having to come in here. We're going to aim for this ladder straight away. We go up here. And there is Zevlor. So we talk to Zevlor. A scout just reported. The goblin's leadership has been decimated. We might escape this place yet. And I hear you are the one to thank. I'm grateful. I took a collection from all of us it isn't much but you've earned it it's your choice whether you want to keep it or just say thank you if you thank you you'll get a lot of some items if you keep your coin you get a very minuscule amount of xp and i think one of the party members might get an inspiration point but i can't remember i always now do it thank you i've not done number two option since early access Ended, so oils now just say thank it's you. Not enough, but it's all we have. It's quite a day for reunions. Halcyn has returned too, and I expect he'll want to speak with you. As for us, no armies at our heels. Amazing. We can finally leave, but perhaps we need not speak of farewells. We'll join your camp tonight to celebrate if you'll have us. Right. We always go for number two option. We'll see you there because we've got other things we need to talk to. We've got loot to have, etc., etc. So we'll see you there. Defeat the goblins complete. And we get the sack. We get a folk hero proc. If Will's in your party, he'll get an inspiration point as well. We open the sack. We get a great club. And we get an agat. We get some gold, we get a potion of speed, and it's the only way you can get this helm. When healing another party, the wearer gains 1d6 hit points. So if you've got a dedicated cleric healer or a dedicated druid healer, or like me with the bard, you are stacking up um, buffs from a bonus action healing word, 
and you can also do that because we have the promising whispering promise um, we have got the boots of aid and comfort and then potentially you could switch out the warped headband of intellect um, for the, the crown as well if you want to use your bar to do that now sometimes we get a proc from Zevlor as we move around this area and he keeps on asking just keep on procking number two it'll be fine for now we're just going to go and speak to house in we're ready to head to there we go are you just means one of the companions has got close enough to him so we'll just go to option two again that can happen two or three times it's very annoying with the leadership dead no attack will be mounted on the grove i am in your debt my friend speak to wrath he will reward you for your efforts we tell him about this as well. Korga. Poor child. The grove will be a dimmer place without her potential. But you were right. You had no choice. I failed her long before you arrived. The shadows could not have tempted her if I had taught her as I should have. But the grove still stands even if she does not. Thanks to you. What about my problem? Uh, no, we go for number three. What happens next? The journey to Moonrise Towers, and all the dangers that that entails. But that's tomorrow's problem. Take some time for yourself tonight. Rest, celebrate. Come morning, I'll be by your side. There we go. Right now we come up here, and we start looting all this stuff. None of it is um, classed as th stealing slash thieving. And you don't get any trouble. You can literally loot everything in all these boxes. If you don't want to do it now, they sit here uh, for pretty much the rest of the game. So you can always come back and loot them. But I'd do it now. Simply because we've got more traders open at the moment. Uh, where is Mole? There we go. Talk to Mole. Somebody stole the idol. If I find out who it was, I'll recruit him. You don't get an option to trade with her anymore. That's it. Once we uh, pickpocket the idol like we did in a previous episode, she no longer becomes a trader. Uh, you can try and talk to Mattis. I'm glad you didn't die. No discounts once I'm running the wider Boulder's Gate mind. See, and we lose Mattis as a trader as well. So at this juncture, traders are a bit of a uh, rarity in our particular save state. You could come into Druid Grove and loot everything and then utilise Roa still being there before you kill Drail Rusklin. Uh, that is an option, but then you won't get all these barrels here um, and you have to do another rest. Just to reset the trader's gold. I just prefer doing it now. This way. I've, I've tested it many different ways over the months. Loot, loot, loot. Loot everything. Get that lovely gold. And some materials, etc., might we need, such as water. All right, and go down to speak to Aaron. So it's true. You scattered the goblins. Peace can finally return to this corner of the Sword Coast. Thank you. As am I, and I'm sure those poor refugees would quite agree. Of course. There we go. Right, let's reset his list. It's in a, a bit of an organised manner. That's it. Right, let's see what he's got. We'll take all his gold. Because we've got limited... Oh. Limited traders. We want a vigilance. We do want a potion of visibility, thanks. We want the Elmata arrows. We don't want anything else. You can take tooltips off for a minute. 
Can't see any scrolls that will be of use. Go all the way down. Uh, aha! There's some balsam we'll take. That blue dye. That is blue dye. How's Karlak doing on her dye? I like Karlak in blue. She's got 20, so we don't need blue dye. That is ocean dye. Orange dye. I don't think we need any for Astarian. No, we don't use that colour. Okay. You could potentially pick up the supply pack if you want to, but we've got so many already. I mean, if you really want to do it, just adds to the um, amount of gold you can trade. Uh, again, I'm going to be very specific with what I sell him. I just don't want him... Does it matter at this stage? I don't think it matters now. We don't really come back to Aaron anymore after this, so we're just going to unload some stuff. I like to try and keep it relevant to the trader of what they're having, just so they don't get covered in junk. Some of the traders keep the stock throughout the game process, and it can be quite difficult to look for things that you want. I think I've got the rest. On my avatar. Yeah, let's empty our food pouch. Don't need the fire arrows anymore. Don't want that. So though, um, I don't want that for this run. We are branded, so technically we could use use the Absolutes Warboard by dipping into um, a level one fighter to get shield use, but it's. Not that great, and there are better shields later on. Right, so it gives us 705. We're just going to check our alchemy bag, see if there's anything ended up in there that's not herbs or other things that we don't want, namely essences, because we can't use them. They suck. There it is. Drop the essences. None of the potions I use, or elixirs, I should say, use essences. There's no pest and mortar, no flasks, so we are good. Let's just balance this off. Boom. And accept. There we go. May you keep balance. Dip into our character sheet here. And we're gonna send all of this. I'm going to keep the crown because I might want to use it a bit later. I'm still not sure on my makeup. It depends what I do with the bard here. Oh, what's that? Ah, okay. Fine. We will. Um, Switch the amulet misty step there. Go into those out because she doesn't have an amulet. Oh, why has she got no clothes on? Have I sold her clothes? I've sold her clothes. <sighs> We're going to put the amulet of speak with dead with on her because she doesn't take much damage at the moment. Um, I accidentally sold her robes, so we need to buy some Lazel some robes. So it's true. You scattered the goblins, as am I. Oh. Go back to the avatar. It'll take a while for us all to recover. Of course. Right. Did we sell Les L's robes? Don't want that, sorry. Come on. There it is. Did we sell her robes? Doesn't look like it. What happened to our robes? Oh. 
Okay, now I'm confused. Um... Alright, well, May you sorry ladies out, you're going to be walking around in your underwear for a little bit. My bad, I don't know what happened to them, we didn't sell them, they're not in our bags, so they've gone somewhere. At this juncture, um, the Drew Grove is kind of empty, so we're going to go on a loot, well, going on a loot spree. The first thing we're going to target is Zevlor's old home. Just going to go in it now. They, again, this is uh, class as all theft or stealing, but there's no one here to see us, so we are happily going to steal everything in the pursuit of gold. Pretty sure there's nothing in these pots, but. Uh, OCD, I need to uh, look into them. Turn all the candles off. I don't know why I do this. I just The only thing I can explain is, is it might be something to do with my OCD, but we're going to attempt to lock pick with our bard. We've got some buffs. It's only a level 10. Easy done. Open it. Get some items out of that. Go over here, turn those off. Over here a bit and scan search again. Pick up the incense. Incense is lovely. It's like you see there, it's 30 gold per. Come on. and then we go around to his aide's little bunk here or it might be his area, I'm not too sure but anyway, I'm going to go to here it'll stand about there and we should be able to get everything in this little area There we go, that's that done. And now we're going to go up these steps here. You can come up to this area, I'll show you the way out. Um, and it's another way of coming in. But again, most of this stuff is classed as theft, and if you get caught, it really hampers your reputation with the tieflings in the camp. So I just find it easier just to wait until this juncture and then you're free to take everything. The only problem with doing a scan search, you've got an item like that ladder. You can see it keeps on bouncing to the ladder to get something that uh, is still there. That's an open, so I'll do that. Done that one. Walk over here. Open all the sacks, all the chairs. All in this pursuit of that gold target. Gladiator sandals, yes. I don't know why, but I do like all my companions wearing the gladiatorial sandals. Uh, can't explain it. I just like it. And that's it. And then we go up this ladder here. Ooh. 
which pops us back in here. Now, if you come over here, you can see where it is. It's just where Aaron is, and someone with a high strength or ability to jump high can come onto that. Hold on, I'll show you. Come onto this ledge here, and then either Misty Step or jump up here. There's a Tiefling guard here, but they don't stop you because nothing in this area is classed as stealing. Turn the campfire off. The only reason I'm going up this ladder is to turn off this light here. When it goes, there it is. That's it. There's nothing up there, it's just turning off the light. Next thing to do is come this way, up this crag. go along here and there is a chest we can open here as well Boom. got a beautiful view of an area you can see where we're at that's just where Karlak is there's no way to get anywhere from here I've tried I've even tried misty step it, it doesn't work but um, there is places you can look at. It's all quite nice. Um, and then that's back where we come from. So we'll just go down there. And then across here. Uh, you've got another little area. But again you can't get there from where we are. So it's just a nice little area to view. You can see where it is. That's just above the owl cave there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back down the hatch, which puts me down the ladder. Oof. Sorry about that. That was very horrible for my eyes. If you're wondering that squeak is, I'll show you. If they're around. usually a little I think it's a squirrel walking around this area but it doesn't seem to be there at the moment I can't see it potting out it's zooming a little bit now, there's usually a little squirrel walking around this area and if you've got to speak with that the ability to speak with animals you can have a little dialogue option uh, but it's not there for whatever reason I'm not going to get our party back. We've uh, going to loot all this stuff now. It's another reason why we go and kill Aradin because then you get access to all of this loot here. All of this stuff you can loot prior to this. I just find it a lot easier to do it now because then any there's a few items that class as thieving, and if you uh, click too fast or click wrong. And it can cause again upset with the tieflings, uh, you being arrested and sent to prison, or the entire tieflings in the druid grove attacking you, which makes it harder. Now, if you're not playing a neutral good slash good run like I'm doing, and you're playing an evil run, then you know have at it really. But I'll be doing all of that in my dark urge run. It's another one I've got planned. The idea is we complete the game in balance mode, we do a tactician run, then I'm probably going to do the dark urge run, and then we'll go into honor mode. All here on my YouTube channel over the coming months. I'm going to try and do three episodes a week, uh, release Monday, Wednesday and Friday, all dependent on IRL. As previously mentioned in other episodes, um, I am a care of disabled family. I have my own medical conditions, uh, plus I do all the housework, so IRL can uh, get in the way, probably not the right word, but hopefully you understand my meaning, and so sometimes my channel can go quiet for a few weeks, months, while I'm dealing with IRL, and then when I get time I come back with a vengeance, which is why there's lots of videos going up on my channel at the moment for various different games. at the moment I have the time right, that's it got all that lot we come down here Damon is there for some reason 
Not sure why he stood in the middle of the road. He's usually. Won't be another warning for what? I haven't done anything wrong, dude. You saved us. I wasn't sure we'd make it through. I wish I had better, but this is all I have. That's strange. I've never got a warning from him before. Now, Damon does come with us through the game, so I, I like to try and be, be a bit careful about what I sell him. But we are going to um, have all his gold for our items. So look what he's got. A couple of arrows lightning. We want those for next uh, later in the game. Uh, well, do we take that? Do we need a light crossbow? Most of our characters have got plus ones. I don't need a hand crossbow plus one. Not with the loot coming up. And he doesn't have a simple robe for Lazelle either. God, what did I do with those simple robe? What's that? Blue dye? No, we don't need blue. He hasn't got much to sell us. Orange? No, we don't need orange. I don't think we need orange anyway. Red? I'm not sure. I don't think I need red. Wow, he hasn't got much to sell us. This time round, that's fine. Right, you can have some other weapons. And a torch. And a ring. Some clothes. A pair of tongs, that's blacksmithy. And an iron pan, that seems to be blacksmithy style. A candle as well. I don't know why I'm being specific, but... You have scrolls, you sell scrolls, so you can have those. Um, I never use these. Let's sell them. That's the druid. I thought I'd found Lazel's clothing, then I hadn't. That can go. I want to keep that for now. Right, we need is that 300 gold. I've kind of run out of choice now of just selling him junk. Let's we'll start with books. 400. Sell him some bedrolls. Why not? I want to clip the gladiatorial things. Oh, let's sell that. Some food. Have all the food. Keep an eye on the gold. Six hundred and fifteen. Still need about eighty gold. There's a potion there he can have. He can have all of these. Seventy two. Seventy two. Oh, got some clothing there. Seventy five. Seventy eight. Right. Uh, rags, because you're a blacksmith, you want rags for stuff. I don't know. I'm just going to sell everything until we hit the amount. I'm not getting rid of the incense. The incense is worth too much. Three gold off. I think we're done. Oh no, we've got some rotten food up there. I'll just take it. There we go. Lovely. May Tamora's luck twist your way. Now, normally I would go over here and steal all of this stuff, but um, for some reason, Damon is being a bit upset with us, and I, I honestly don't know why. He's never done that before. So we're just going to move on. Again, I'm not going to go for these items here because Damon's have taken a very keen interest in us. So we're going to go over here and loot all this stuff. There he goes. He goes back. There he goes back to his what's it now? I'm not sure why he did that. Never seen that before. Nearly 1,400 hours of playtime, both in early access and um, live, and um, I've never seen Damon do that before. So I don't know what I. Maybe because I got too close to the edge when I was showing you how to get it the other way, that might have been the reason. That might have caused the. Uh, that might have be caused it.
Oops, forgot that one. No, let's go over here. We turn these off. Excuse me. There we go. Go up here. I'm aware my rest of my party members are not here at the moment, which is fine. You just get in the way when we're um, looting stuff. This is locked, so we do need our rogues. At this point, we'll call in the cavalry, i.e. Karlak. My they come. We're going to wait. What I should have done is called them and then loot this area while I was waiting. I'll just stand here for a while. As Damon's returned to his little place, we should be able to come over here and get this lot now. We already done this in a previous episode. Yes, we did. Okay, we did that for some reason. Okay, right. Switch to Karlak, who's our rogue, and then she can um, lock pick our way in here. There's a there is a way you can get in here previously to this, and without having to unlock. But uh, again, if you get it wrong, you can upset the tieflings. Blah blah blah. So it's just easier to do it now because you've got free reign of this huge area. And the loot inside doesn't change. It's always the same when, whenever you do it. It's always the same loot. So don't think you're missing out on anything because the, the tieflings are getting ready to leave. Because um, you'll see in a minute, most of these boxes are in fact empty. Whoops. Pots are normally empty anyway. Some apples. Here we go. All these crates. Empty. Empty. Whoop. I didn't want to pick that up, but never mind. Apparently I did. We'll drop it down again in a minute. Wrong button. There it is. Drop. Boom. On the floor it goes. Right, let's get a bit closer. We can't get that. We're too short. Right. Another box. If you remember from earlier, Aaron was saying that their stocks were running low and they didn't have enough. As you can see, all their stocks are running low and they don't have enough. And this is what he was referring to. This is their stock slash storeroom. Um, as you can quite clearly see, most of the boxes are in fact empty. Keep going on our little journey of looty. These wicker baskets usually have some food in them, which you then sell, of course. Can never remember which one to open first. I'm pretty sure it's. Yeah. Take the book. We don't open that yet, it's locked. Can we get the bottle? Are we tall enough to get this bottle? We are. We open the pantry chest first because it contains a key. Open a pot, and another pot. Open that barrel. Turn the candle off. That torch is already off. Now we've got the key, we can open this cabinet and get that out. Where is there is the torch? There we go. We'll just pick up this little crate in front of us. Get that. We're done. Now what we're going to do here is go out the back of the storage area and pick up this pouch contents. We're going to come down here and hopefully we'll get the perception check off. 
pick up this bucket. No, we failed it. Lovely. Grab that one. And as you can see where we are now, where he brought Saza through in an early episode. Oh, Gladiator sounds lovely. You could theoretically jump across here and come up here and do all of what I've just done. But um, there is a tiefling inside that area. And if you don't get the right dialogue option or you fail the dialogue option, um, it will end badly for you. So it's just easy to do it now. Ah, that's what the perception check was for earlier to see if we could see that. And that's that. That's the area done. We are now going to go and join the rest of our party members. We're going to shut the door because we're nice people. And the final area to loot is up here where we found Will. Just do a scan here. Come round here, and it's about there. There we go. Oops, that's going to read that. Never mind. Pick that up. Pick up all the cha training stuff. That milk can has been there ever since early access and it's still blocked. There's never anything in that storage chest. The only way, um, I haven't done an evil run where I kill the druid camp successfully. Um, We'll pick that up now. We already looted it earlier. But we'll now take the pouch. And we come back up to Aaron. So we've done a little circle. Make sure we're talking to him. It'll take a while for us all. Of course. And then we go back in here and take all his gold. And sell all the stuff we picked up. Or some of the stuff we picked up. Because some of the stuff we want to keep. Boom, that's it, we're done. Let's have a double check, make sure he hasn't got anything else we want. Take tool tops off because I find them annoying. He's got some more arrows of lightning, but I think we've got enough now. I haven't got any scrolls. What's that one? No. No scrolls that I'm interested in. He hasn't changed. He's got all the dyes he had last time. Ooh, excuse me. Right, okay, we'll accept that then. Be done. May you keep balance. There we go. That is the Druid Grove completely looted. We are now going to go and see Wrath, like Halston said. And because I'm on controller, we are going to do it like this. And boom. And our party will walk all the way around on auto walk. A little bit of a stretch. Feel free to wander around and talk to any of the druids, etc. Uh, but I'm mainly interested in talking to people for looty stuff. As you can see, there's a red druid over there. He is a um, supporter of Karga, who has now died because we killed her. 
Um, so you could go in here and kill him and then loot this entire area. Which we might do after we've spoken to Ralph. You've done it. You brought House in back. Thank you. No. Thanks is not enough. May Sylvanus bless you for all your days. I cannot imagine taking on a camp full of goblins was a simple task. Number two. As am I. The grove will be whole again. Let me show you on your map where you can find the cache. Take this rune. You'll need it. Place it among the pedestals inside our library. When the wolf glows brightest, everything in the vault below will be yours. Hey, and we finally get the quest completion. There we go, get the wolf right. Can we get in here without aggroing him and then close off the door? Nope. We are straight into combat. That's fine. We're going to get Lays out. He's just going to run up him. Hopefully just punch him in the face and he'll die. Just like that. We now close the door. We're going to click on... Uh, separate and click on Karlak and we're also going to go in stealth because Wrath is still there and he wanders around but we can now loot this entire area. Everything in here will be classed as theft stealing so if Wrath does catch you it won't go very well for us but we are it's why we're using um, our rogue in this case it's Karlak which is why she's one level rogue three levels berserker it, it delays her progression slightly but I do love having a rogue in the party just for all the stealing buffs and stuff. Our bard can do it because they are stacked in dexterity. Uh, but they don't have all the buffs. We've closed the door so the wandering wolf cannot get in it because the wolf can't open the door. Um, so that's that area done. Go into the pot, into the chest. That's that bit done. Around the corner. Now, normally, Mark, if you time it right with um, the cargo fight, you actually get Mark in that fight, and you know you don't have to kill him here. Buried inside the bookcase. That's weird. Just keep an eye on where Wrath is. Just trying to prevent any unnecessary actions from him. Again, this is why we're in stealth. It takes a little bit longer because you can see our speed is slowed right down. But, um, all in the knowledge of getting the gold. That's why it takes me so long to get through Act 1. It's just I'm, I'm looting all of the time. As you've seen. Let's get the last of this stuff. A wicker basket there.
We're gonna have one last try at that um, pestle and mortar and pestle. No, it it says denied. So, right, and at this juncture, to prevent any sort of bad reactions, we are just gonna waypoint out with Karlak with all the stolen goods and let her come out of stealth, and she'll sit there until we are ready. Any XP the party will earn will be fine. So what we need to do now is come out of the door, go back in, wait for everyone to come out, close the door again, close the door, and run all the way over here very quickly in case anyone wanders into the servants' quarters and then we get accused and we talk to Nettie. Blessed day. I was worried I'd never see Master Halson again. You kept your word. Thank you. Well, you certainly took out more than your fair share. But here, to mend any hurts. Oh, oh wrong button again, Garth. Right, let's see what we got from Nettie in the pouch. We get a red apple and a mugwort, which is fine. Now, there is an option here. There is a ton of loot in this room, as you can see. Absolutely chocker with loot. There's loot all over the place. There's about maybe 100, 200 gold in this area. However, in order to get it, you do need to kill Nettie. If that is something you want to do, you do like you do in the servant's quarter. You close the stone door uh, and then very quickly kill her. And with this party set up, I would suggest just punching her with Lazel. I should uh, almost one hit her. And then you can loot everything in here. And then you just go to the waypoint and continue on the game. Nothing will be said by any of the druids. There will be no bad reactions because we don't come into this part of the grove anymore. If you want to do that, feel free and go ahead. I'm not going to because I have more than enough gold now. Uh, and we are just going to go into the library and uh, collect our reward. So we walk over to the empty socket. Have to find the rune somewhere in your inventory. On control, it opens every single bag. There it is. And then you hit combine. Boom. And now you have to turn them all on. So we'll use that one. This one over here, this one over here, and then finally this one. A little bit of XP, and down it goes. There it is, then we get the stair use. We separate the avatar, and we walk down here. There's lots of pots and boxes here, but if we stand here you get everything there's nothing in that side so we pick up sorrow we pick up the druid note pick up uh, the book there we go there's, I'm going to skip the, uh, the pots because I know there's nothing in there these crates have stuff in them and that's it you get those three crates and sorrow and a couple of books and that is all it there is. Everything else is empty. There we go, that one was empty. I was actually trying to get the crate. Oh no! Ah! Oh, this crate has stuff in it. There we go, Robe of Summer. Which we are going to give to Lazelle because we don't know what happened to her clothes. Hold on, phone call. All right, my stupid marketing phone calls. <laughs> uh, where did we get to? Um, ah, yes, Lazelle. Let's put some clothes on Lazelle, bless her. I still don't know what happened to her robe. No idea, but we are going to grab 
the Rover Summer. Boom, it's a nice bright red, and it's also got um, resistance to cold damage, which is what I switched into anyway from the basic robe. We're just going to grab and color it for her because green is Lazelle's color in my playthrough. Anyway. There we go, that's better. Got some clothes on her now, right. We are done in the Druid Grove. Other than the occasional visit to Aaron for um, trading, we are done. So we waypoint out. Karlak is there. Oh, whoopsie daisy. Let's get the rest of our group as well. Let's pop them up there. There we go. Right, we'll do a quick save. And we're off to our camp. Right, we're going to have a walk around and talk to everyone before we go to bed. I had a wild dream last night. This beautiful entity came to me, promised to protect me. Told me the parasite in our heads could give us power. I had a similar seam. Sounds like it. What did you make of it? Um. None of these are really appropriate for how I'm running at the moment. I don't want to show that one because Carla gets upset, and I don't know who I'm going to be romantically involved with yet with this run through. So. I was going yeah. for a dream. Right. Right, there we go. Over to Shadowheart. Something the matter. Wait. <sighs> it hurts. Worse. But it passes quickly. Usually. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least, in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with. Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. Right, we're not going to ask about the tadpoles because she gets upset and can cause disapproval. So we're just going to turn to other matters. Um, we'll go to option I one. I don't understand how exactly, but I felt it go to you. It's important. Keep it close. I do, but the artifact has a will of its own and powers to enforce it. It likely won't let me take it back. The best I can do is to stay close. Bide my time. Eventually, I'll need to take it. Then, I'll have to see what can be done about that. There we go. On to Astarion, who's down here somewhere. There he is. I had the strangest dream last night. There was a visitor promising me protection and all sorts of delicious powers from the parasites in our heads. Given our shared affliction, I suppose you had a similar dream. Excellent. Now we can see what these tadpoles can do for us. Exactly. Waste not, want not. Even when it comes to mind flare parasites. Now, was there anything else? Who knows? Drow? Mind flayers? Death? Hopefully not ours. But maybe answers. If we can convince the right people to talk. Okay. Now we go down to Lazelle. Galek. I had a dream. As we all did, I suspect. 
Someone came to me and promised to protect me while claiming that the parasite could empower me. The parasite has taken root, it would seem. Every word, every promise, it is gate deception. Uh, yes, I'm being a bit of a hypocrite depending on which companion I'm talking to. So let's do this one. You're right. We should ignore the dream at all costs. A wise choice. Approval. These parasites are a threat to be destroyed, not an opportunity to be exploited. I'm not going to do that. That's the romance line to go with Lazelle, and I've explored her romantic uh, plot line in the past. Chat with Will. Welcome to the League of the Lone Eye, my friend. Not to minimize the pain of Volo's poking and prodding, but I promise you'll be used to the prosthesis in no time. Besides, I find it gives one an air of mystique. No one's more intriguing than a woman with one eye. That's that. And then finally, we go and talk to Gail. My apologies. Huh. Not quite myself just yet. I had the strangest dream last night. A visitor came to me. A vision of unparalleled beauty and power. She told me she was watching over me protecting me and that our tadpoles could prove beneficial if we embrace what powers they have to offer An uncanny apparition not entirely sure what to make of it very curious in all my readings on the effects of a lithid parasite I've never come across any accounts of correlating dreams between infected parties Another unique quality of our predicament, perhaps. Hmm. Are you inclined to take these visitors at their word? Uh, yeah, we'll go with number three, I think, with Gale. If so, we have far more to learn about the powers at play here. Our ignorance as to the exact nature and intent of our saviors is hardly cause for celebration. I hope your confidence proves well-founded. God knows we could use all the help we can get. All right, so that's set us up nicely. Okay, we now are going to just have a quick inventory sort and see what needs to go where. So that needs to go to camp. There's no point in that sitting in there. That's going to go to camp for later on. Um, that can go to Avatar because it's junk as can that Lizelle is got gladiatorial sandals a druid um, yes we need a druid but he doesn't get to uh, oh come on Karlak oh Karlak's carrying some junk no not that one go away multi select that that keep 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 that can go can go and that. I've still got. Oh my day. Oh, this is all the junk from the room, isn't it? Yeah, I just remembered. That can go. We'll send that go. We don't need that until later. Right. We'll send that all over to the avatar. Get it all cleared out. Oh, hello. Send that over as well. Shadow Heart. Stone's got some stuff. Everyone's looking good for dye. Apart from Will, who needs some red. And Shadow Heart doesn't have her colour yet. That's fine. Um, there was an item I was looking at for Lizelle. And I cannot write. Lizelle's got gladiatorial sandals. Karlak doesn't. So we'll send them over to her. Boom. Uh, that's going to camp. Open our key socket. Find the key. There it is. Pop that in there. Bit of a shifty around. Right, okay. What else have we got? Um, 
I can go to camp for now. That can go to camp for now. That's going to camp for later. As are those. And the heroism one. Uh, what's that? No, that can be sold. That can be sold. That can be sold. That can be sold. What's that? That's sorrow. That can be sold. I don't think. Oh! Almost missed it. That can go to camp. Right, let's have a looky looky. Not that one. I didn't want that one. Is that what I wanted? Boom. Go, go away. Go away. Do, 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 do. Don't want that. Don't want that. Not the shovel. That can go. That can go. That can go. Not that. That's my drum. It's been set to. Ah, that's for Lazel. We want those for Lazel. All this is going to be marked up as wares to be sold after our rest. Nice. There we go. Right. That can go to Astarian. Open up our. Oh, it's already opened. Why aren't you sorting out? Oh, flicking it too much. There we go. Right, now where's our herbs? Spot a couple of herbs in the backpack that need to be transferred. There's one. There's the other one. There we go. Quick alchemy. Another bloodlust. No. Uh, ah, more post of the greater healing. Lovely jubbly. Right then, that's all that sorted out. Why are uh, why have we not dyed our clothes? There's our dye. Walk around in the wrong colour, by the bit. Find there it is. That's better. Lovely. Right now, switch to laser. Oh. Come on. Where is it? That's it. There we go. green sorted okay we are ready to go to bed boom and the aforementioned party right we'll do some more talking it's nice to be somewhere where good is still possible and with good potations too. Fuck yes. I'm celebrating my freedom and our friendship and these folks' bright future besides. All I need now is a fire retardant lover to get lost in till sunrise. Not so much. You spend the whole time avoiding swords. Oh, just got a bit of potions sort out while going to the chat. People just get nastier as the night wears on. I tried to make friends at first. Learned my lesson fast. Better to keep to yourself in hell. So and this is where all the romantic plot lines really kick off in the thing. So you could have got option. I've done Karlak. Karlak is my favourite companion. I've done Karlak a lot. So we're just gonna not do her romantic plotline in this playthrough. You too, soldier. Enjoy yourself tonight. You've earned it. Okay, we're gonna go around to Shadowheart. Actually, we need to make a decision now. Uh not Karlak, not Lazelle, not Astarian. That leaves Will, Gale, Halcyn, and Shadowheart. I. Th I think actually
I think I'm gonna go with Gale. Yeah, I'm gonna go Gale with this run. So we're gonna go and talk to him first. Thank you. Yeah, let's go with. I'm sure you're welcome. There's that confidence I like. I thank you for seeking me out. Amid all this merriment, I wasn't sure we'd have a chance to speak this evening. I was hoping you'd spare me a moment. There was something rather magical I wished to show you. I like the sound of magical. A lesson. And trust me when I say few have experienced the pleasure I offer to teach. However, it's something best experienced in more... Intimate surrounds once the revelry has ended and the stillness of the night has been restored For now, please enjoy the celebration when it is done I will show you all Okay, I missed some of that because I was reading my post uh, Apologies for that I was not expecting any post so yeah, we'll um, put that post to the side. Uh, right, I can't remember what Gail said, so we're just going to go back. I promise, in. impatience, I assure you. Let the night run its course, so that we can run ours as well. Okay, fine. All right, fine. Right. Uh, let's talk to Roland. Patience. Have you no respect for showmanship? Having performance issues, Roland. Hush you, and behold! Adoring applause? You're too kind. Remember when he could barely cast that? They grow up so fast. Never have I met such troglodytes. Now, pass the wine. Rowan uh, acted by the brilliant George Taylor, who is actually going through his own Baldur's Gate 3 run at the moment on his YouTube channel. Right, we've spoken to Karlak. Let's pop over and see Shadowheart. Everyone seems to be in high spirits. I saw you with Gale. You two looked cosy. Far be it from me to judge. Blood must still be running a little hot after everything. Strange. You know who I never thought I'd find myself caring for? I do have to admit, I do like a slightly drunk Shadowheart. Exactly right. Refugees, by the way. Much thought. Certainly not that bunch in the grove. Yet we came through for them. We saved their lives. Odd. Not so odd, we did the right thing. Option one. That's more easily said by some than others. But nobody's here to debate right from wrong. Shadowheart trails off and glances around at the party. She turns back to you. Mildly surprised you're still there. I thought you might have wanted to mingle with the others. So again, even though we've spoken to Gale, there's a chance to be with Shadowheart as well. Um, but we're just going to go with option four. I suppose I should enjoy your evening. There we go. Round to Astarian. You know, I never pictured myself as a hero. Never thought I'd be the one they'd toast for saving so many lives. And now that I'm here... It. This is awful. Option three, it's not that bad. Think all the goblins you like killed. True. That was fun. Still, I would have liked more for my trouble than a pat on their head and vinegar for wine. Two, true, the goblins would have thrown a wilder party. I'm just looking for a little more excitement. A little more fun. 
Um, two, that had better not mean I want to kill something. Not at all. I was hoping for companionship and, well, maybe a little death, figuratively speaking. And not with you, just to be clear. I mean, can you imagine? <laughs> Ugh, no. That's because our anyway, approval rating with him is not high. You. I'm sure you have someone else to sniff around. It's so my problem with the Starion because of his uh, the way his character's written and his background of being a criminal. His approval rating with him just drops like a stone with the way I do my game. I have so. seen the Kithraki tear a screaming Neogi's legs from its belly to fashion into blades. Yet they could not match your nerve today. It was enough to drive me to madness. A pity for us you have promised your body to Gale. I've no doubt he's as seductive as he is succinct. Option four. I'm grateful for your aid. You really are a gifted warrior. Vlakith demands of me no less. Hmm. If only I might lay claim to my proper trophy. Come morning, you will wonder. You will wonder how my lips might have tasted. How my fingers on your skin might have felt. Oh, but do enjoy yourself this night. I intend to myself. Will looks particularly tempting. Oops, I always forgot about Will. No matter, we are going to go and um, normally, if you haven't done the idol quest, you can talk to Moll, and she's got some really interesting talk. But we did the uh, idol, so she's not best happy. And talk to Alfea. This might be the wine talking, but I'm feeling inspired. Thinking of writing my next song about you. But I need an angle. Any ideas? Bard option six. Let it be only as truthful as true poetry would permit. But of course, you achieved something far beyond mere fact. That deserves to be remembered. Which option you actually choose with Alfreya, I, I don't think really matters unless you shut her down. Oh, House Lynn. Go on now. Don't waste a night like this talking to me. We'll discuss your problem tomorrow. Again, you can um, start down the romantic line with Halcyon, but um, I'm not going to. Later, perhaps. Don't worry about me. <sighs> A night under the stars amidst nature's creation is just what I need after being locked up in the goblin's dungeon. Go on, enjoy yourself. Seek out some wine before it runs dry. There are a lot of thirsty people around here. There we go. And then finally, all the way down the beach, we have Will. Yeah, hells. I was hoping you wouldn't notice I was gone. Are you alright? No. I'm deeply proud of you. A touch less so of myself. In truth... I don't feel in a festive mood, and I didn't want to cast a grey cloud over the night. These people are still in danger. A thousand perils will still threaten them. They aren't ready to get on the road on their own. Option two, you're right, but we need to give them hope. You're good at it. You've given me some just by being here. But, off with you. This is your day. Have a dance. Enjoy the music. I wish you were there, but I'll respect your need for peace. Some time alone beneath the stars, and I'll be back to my old self. Promise. Still, it's a night to remember. You've made sure of that. And there we go. That is it. You can talk to all of the other people around to get various different dialogue options, etc., etc. But we're just going to progress forward because this episode is already an hour and a half, and that's where I'd kind of like to leave it. But we want to get this bit out of the way and uh, we've got some dialogue to do in the morning as well.
And so we go down to our camp supply pack. Select that and full rest. Buzz of celebration quiets to a soothing hum as you approach your bunk. Though you seek repose, you needn't spend the night alone. There is one who yearns for you in the dark. Who will you seek? Now, depending on your dialogue options, this will come up with um, like go to bed alone, or you'll have options of the companions you spoke to. We have one which is Gale, so we're just going to select Gale. Your heart skips a beat. What treasures might this night bestow? Option two, Bard. Ah, Mistra, the Matron of Magic herself. Blah, blah. Oh. My. You startled me. I, uh... It's miles away. Bard, care to tell me why you are conjuring an image of the goddess? Just pondering what I lost. Mistra commands all magic. Salvation, if such a thing exists, is hers to bestow withhold and yet even now more than I fear losing my own self and soul I fear losing my command of her art magic is my life I've been in touch with the weave for as long as I can remember there's nothing like it it's like music poetry physical beauty all rolled into one and given expression through the senses is it the same for you Option four, bard, music, magic is music, poetry and beauty, etc. Fair enough. Though in the end we're still playing the same composition. Perhaps I can show you what I mean by reaching into the weave together. Option one, by all means. Then follow my lead. Now you. Option four, performance. Imitate the gesture with a flourish. On keyboard and mouse, you automatically get the things. On um, die, uh, controller, you do have to press the R button down, and then you'll get the proficiencies. But as you can see, uh, we could get a better one. We could get Bard with no roll. We get sleight of hand with a plus six, or we can get performance with a plus six. So we're just going to go for performance, because why not? Nice and easy dice roll. You feel something strange, like a kind word and a kind touch at the same time. It's warm and comfortable. Excellent. Now, repeat after me. Athran Mistra Ril Kantrak Eo. Let's just have a look at the ones here. There we go. I think we go for Bard performance. Why not? Get another dice roll. Lovely. Yes, the scent of rose water and a sense of well-being. A sliver of weave that tastes sweet on the tongue. Very good. Now, I want you to picture in your mind the concept of harmony. As true as you can. I think we're just going to go with... Uh, bard here. There's no dice roll then. You see, or is it sense, the unmistakable presence of Mistra, the Lady of Mysteries. 
there's something like the anticipation of a kiss, then the pleasure of being cloaked in peace. You are safe. You are nestled in the cup of Mistra's hand. <laughs> you did it! You're channeling the weave! How does it feel? Uh, number one. Magical, sensual, even. That it does. The weave connects you. The moment feels intimate. One, hold on to the moment. It's a good night for instance. Obviously, you've got different options here if you're not interested in a romantic... Uh, relationship with any of the companions that of course is the way you want to play then go for that as well you realize the weave is making you one you have but to imagine your desire and Gale will know it so if look here I haven't done this before so I have, I have no idea the dialogue options Go with option one, picture kissing him with tenderness, then with passion. I... I didn't think. You perceive quick-fire gusts of embarrassment, trepidation, and finally, elation. Sorry, I wasn't expecting... But it is a pleasant image, to be sure. Most pleasant, in fact. Most welcome. The weave evaporates, and as it does so, you realize the night feels suddenly cold and lonesome. Oh, there it goes. How easily things slip away from us, no matter how hard they were in the obtaining. Good night. I enjoyed sharing a moment of magic with you. Ah. Oh. Okay. I trust you enjoyed your evening. After all your efforts, it was well deserved. It may be some time before you're afforded another such night. There is much to be done. And I promised I would help you however I could. I'm certain a cure for you can be found at Moonrise Towers, but it's complicated. The journey specifically it's extremely perilous, though it seems you're well accustomed to navigating danger. We get a cure, and the chance to hit these arseholes where they live. Sounds good. Alright, there's a lot of dialogue options here, there's a lot of dialogue to go through, and also the video's uh, getting on a little bit, so I'm going to speed through these. If you want to see the dialogue options, you can slow down the video, um, or you can just skip through it, your choice. Uh, option two, moon finds it Wait. is. To get to the tower, this curse shrouds any who linger are twisted by the curse. You're half right. You could go, you could all long ago. Sounds rather ingenious. Aridan and from this stronghold, if you can find this place, I'll wager it will reveal a more direct already. <laughs> I would like to join your camp. If I've long sought to return to Moonrise Towers, may Sylvanus guide us. Do not be so impatient. Right, that does get over quite quickly, but if we go into Halcyon again, he does have other dialogue options. Just wait for all the existing journal updates. Oakfather's blessings to you. There we go. And again, as you can see, we've got lots of other dialogue options here, and it's best to get them out of the way now. I studied one. A drow attack. Hideous, but fascinating. Like nothing, hopefully. I've chosen a successor as for precisely. The Grove needs to... This is why I chose Francesca. Contrary to how some think of us, we drew it... It's had the whole... Those who remain, we have to get to Moonrise. But the less time we spend in its precious little. But I'm quite certain those illicit... There's also the... Sh I helped overthrow... If I can join you and get close to Moonrise, perhaps I can... Well, what well, Ketherick... I studied the Shadow Curse for years. Perhaps. Put it from your mind for now. Once we near the curse, precisely. But in my eagerness, I put f miss it. <laughs> be wary of any. I'm just glad to be out here amidst the Oak Father's creations. Mm. 
in other circumstances. I would have done the same. Perhaps. But best to not dwell on nights past. With such stimulating company? <laughs> Never better. There we go. Right, now it's to our buffs. That's that one done. Uh, what is the next bit? Yep, we still want... Oh, do we want to swap here? No, we're good. So I was just making sure because I want to know whether we're buffing Lazel or not. Don't really waste my elixirs. We've not got very many left. Normal. Why is the druid's? Why is all the clothes going? Why is the druid got no clothes on? I haven't touched him. Is it? Is. Is why is he in camp clothes? Very strange. Very strange indeed. Normally I'd be level 5 around about now um, and I would go and kill a few little other bits and bobs here and there to make sure of it but I don't know whether I can be bothered. Everyone got long strider? Yeah, okay cool. Let's just have a quick check of where we're at with our levelling. But not that wow, well, we're quite far away actually. 300 XP? What have I missed? I'll have a check off video, but um, I might do a post edit extension to this one. Because getting to level 5 before we do the next bit is, is um, quite handy. No. We are going to go down, finish looting the Druid Grove. There's one spot we didn't get because of the way Damon was, but now this place is empty of all the tieflings, including Damon. He's moved on. So we're going to come down to where Auntie Ethel was, which is down. Oh, I went too far. It's down in this little area here. And we've got the bit up here as well to do. Plus, now Damon's gone, we can loot his area. So, I'm just going to do that. Normally, I would have done this um, at the same time as all the others. Because, although Damon's across the way, he, he doesn't, doesn't bother him for some reason. But I think where I got too close to the edge when I was looting the um, Tiefling's store, he got upset. Right, that's Auntie Ethel's area. Now we're going to do the little impromptu kitchen area here. And we're encumbered again, which is fine. Carrying all the stuff from all the other characters, so it just makes this a little bit easier. And turn the campfire off. Go to this torch as well. There we go. I just come down to all these boxes and crates and things down here. 
I'm going to leave myself encumbered because I don't want to be moving stuff around. Unless I get heavily encumbered. I don't think we're, in f we're um, at that stage yet. Maybe after we've looted Damon's area. We might get heavily encumbered here. If that's the case, I'll have to move some stuff. Keeping an eye out to see if we actually do become heavily encumbered. Should be okay. Oh, we're encumbered now, or even slower. Still got a few more bits to go. Let's see if we can get through it all. There we go. We are heavily encumbered. That's fine. I need to uh, go and have a little break. I want to get this done though. So we are just going to oh, auto move to Aaron, which will take a while. And I'll be back very shortly to finish off this particular episode. Alrighty, let's go and talk to Aaron. See how much gold and stuff he's got. We can hopefully get rid of most of this stuff. To recover. Of course. Oops, readjust. 700 gold. That might be doable. So, heroism. Yeah, we'll take that. Uh, not interested in any arrows. Take the tooltips off for the scrolls. Let's see, Mis no misty scroll. Is that dimension door? Yoink. Have that for later. Other than that, there's not much there. Skids through all the other stuff. Not much. Uh, Herbwise. What's that one? Acorn truffle. That makes something we don't want. That makes an essence. Yeah, we don't want that. I didn't think we did. No herbs, no balsam. Oh wow. Light blue, ocean. Yes, we'll take the three red dye. Thank you. And that's it. Wow. Very little. Right. Let's start by emptying our food sack. Excuse me, behave. There we 
go. That's all that lot got rid of. Don't the fire resist potions. All these can go. All of those can go. We are past needing those. So I mark up everything with wares, so I know what I'm getting rid of. Why have we got a short sword that isn't equipped? Oh, because we've got that one. Fine. Almost there, and we've not even got halfway through our stuff. Now we need to look for stuff that weighs a lot. What's the weight of these? Tooltips on, please. 0.45. 0 0.55, 0 0.05, 2, that can go, 1, that can go, it might be the books, the books are way, well, yeah, 0 0.5, creeping up there, Ugh, 1 gold left, there we go, Boom. May you keep balance. May you keep giving me gold. Alright then, so we've still got a ton of stuff that we need to sell. Uh, just sent these. I don't start using elixirs until Act 2. That can go to Karlak. Karlak is getting to the point where she'll be used more often than they sell. Karlak also has all of the Receiving stuff, the dimension door will go to camp as well. Uh, that's a wares. It doesn't take long to do this as long as you keep it up to date all the time. It's a not, I don't think it's too much of an effort. Well, it's not for me anyway. Dyer goes to camp because that one's for Will. There we go. All right, just double check. No one's got anything else they shouldn't have. We're just going to shift you all the gold over to have the avatar. And then we're going to split it. Where's it gone? There it is. And send that to camp. That's just saved us five weight and we are going to split it again and send that to camp which saves us a ton of thing and we've still got some other bits up here which we need to get rid of as well. All right, we are now going to set up for the next episode so we're actually going to waypoint over to the swamp. There we go. Let's just drop a save here. And there we go. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching. I'll be back with episode 11. What I'll do in between times, I'll go to camp. I'll sort out my stash and check to see what I'm missing because at this juncture I should be very close to level 5 and I am nearly 350 XP away. So I'm just going to go and check through, see if I've missed any bits I should have done by now. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Hi all and welcome to episode 10 part 2. Two, I found the missing experience. So, we're just going to jump straight back into here. Uh, I'm going to add this on to the other episode in the post edit so it will <laughs> make a bit of sense. But essentially, I am about 350 XP away from level 5, and I want to be level 5 before we tackle the next set of combats. And I couldn't figure out where it was in the recording of part 1. But then I went away, had a look at my levelling guide, and I found it. So we're going to do a bit of um, prep work first. We are going to make sure everyone is buffed. I was going to put the druid into bear form, but I'm not going to bother. We've already got our save point here. We did at the end of part one, so uh, end of 8.10. I've got rid of all the quick saves because they're no longer needed. Nice and tidy save file. Also keeps the... Um, 
save file down which means Larian isn't having to spend more money on servers because people can't be bothered to delete unrequired saves anymore so what we didn't do after killing Drow action what we should have done is done a short rest and then popped into the goblin camp now because Drow's Rasklin is dead all the goblins will now aggro which requires us to kill them all which is fantastic for the purposes of XP and loot so that is what we're going to go off and do now. You hear the combat sounds? There we go. Initially, you are only in combat with Crusher, who is this goblin up here, and his group of cohorts with an occasional other one that wanders around. Beowicknook, I'm going to say. So, that's where we're at. So let's get this far. I'm not going to say too much here. But um, let's get into this. Who we are on? We're on our, our character. So what we want to do... We are going to do our long rest again after this. We're hoping to kill this one before he can summon anyone. That won't work. Oh, missed. That kind of sucks. Okay. Kalex up next. We are going to manually go into and hope that her pike returns she got it back yes she did right we're gonna rage that was probably a bad thing because I was hoping to get out of combat uh, short rest and go on but that's fine we've got rage and we're long rest afterwards go back to our everyone's right okay now we are gonna drop a spiked growth uh, do, do, do over there which will draw in all the others and keep us in combat kaboom that's aggro the entire camp which is awesome we are now gonna well check form into oh we got more shapes no we're not we're going to go into our bear form. Hurrah! There we go. Right, we're going to end that Druid's turn. We're now into Lazelle, who is going to take out some of these. Uh, we want to just hit this one first, and hopefully it will die. Lovely. That will give us access to Crusher. We're still going to get an attack of opportunity, but that's fine. It missed. Now we can do our attack. Crusher goes down. And we get Crusher's Ring, which is the one that provides an additional movement speed. So, that's good for us. We'll also loot this one here. That's that done. Now wait for everyone else to get their turn. For everyone to run in. Oof. why I needed fire arrows or a fire bolt or something to take out that little group of people. Right, we're out of uh, ensnared now which is awesome so let's get some of this done. Where are mobs? Um, we are gonna let the druid take care of that one. We actually will let Lazelle take out those two. We are actually gonna take out the giant here. Lovely. We're gonna pop down a little healing word onto. I think we're gonna do it on. 
We're going to do it on Karlak, I think. Give Karlak bless and temporary hit points. Speaking of Karlak, we're going to move Karlak a little bit out. Hopefully our returning pike will hold out. There it comes, we get the rage throw. Takes him down, there we go, Karlak's done. Um, we're gonna, I think we are just gonna, what we're gonna do here. Jump, I think. And then we're going to go all the way down here. And then as an action, we're going to goad. It's fine. And then Azel. That was dead. We're not going to use a key point. We are just going to use our normal one because it's got low life. Oh, it's got 12. It should still die. Again. Oh, wow, I missed. That's unfortunate. Crusher we looted. That hasn't got anything. We've done that one, and that's far right. Okay. Oh, come on. Okay, right. We don't have any more sharpshooter, unfortunately. What we do have is lots of people with the ability to shoot stuff. Let's get out our last bardic inspiration point. We are going to target this one. And not that one. Come on, there's got to be another low level one somewhere. Let's go for that one. Both two more down. And we're going to whack up a level 2 heal on the bear. There we go. They're now blessed. For all our buffs. Karlak is going to attempt to take out that one on the top. Not sure if she's going to be successful, but we'll uh, try it anyway. One shot. And we've got still got our pike, which is awesome. Got an enraged throw. Take out one of. Actually, where is. Can we reach this one? No, can we reach that one? No. Come on, give us something we can shoot at. That one, there we go. Dead as well. Lovely jubbly. Uh, we are going to target this one. Bosh, dead. Uh, we're going to Lunar Mend. Job done. Right. Lizelle is now a bit of out of position here. I want to keep that spike growth there. There is another goblin over there we could take out, but that's a lot of effort. Although... Mm, right, hold on. Where is... No, there it is. Step of the wind dash. Double your movement speed, jump no long cries a bonus action. Oh, that's what's gonna require action, isn't it? Yeah, I'm glad I caught that. Practically no movement speed. We are just a kangaroo now. What we wanna do is target 
not that one. Where's the one that's got the concentrating on the bless? There it is. <coughs> that's who we're going after. And with jump, our free jump, and our massively amount of uh, movement speed, we should be able to reach them. Boom. Oh man, we didn't kill it and they said the concentration throw. Never mind. we got any fire arrows left or did we sell them all looks like we sold them all and looks like we've got no alchemist fire any either it's a bit of a shame um, bit of a mistake to make really but never mind got no bardic inspiration to do multiple attacks so we are now We are just going to shoot someone, I think. Who are we going to target? Might not need fire. Let's give it a go. There they all go. Down on the floor. Right, have we got what else we can do? Not much. Okay, we do we need to heal the bear? Yeah, let's just keep the bear up and running. Refresh the bless. There we goes. Kylak's now going to move forward. Throw, throw, throw. Use auto targeting if it actually goes onto the mobs. Path interrupted. Jubbly, we'll take out that one. Another one done. Got our rage throw. Path interrupted, too far away, path interrupted, path interrupted. Dang, can we not reach this one either? Yes we can. Not sure why it didn't um target crap, but Try oh! something else. Oh shut up. Bear's gonna take the no, Bear's gonna take this one because we know Carlac can't hit it, so we'll just Womp, that one's gone. And Luna Mend. Lovely. Jubbly. Loot. Right, we should now be able to... Can we make it? Not enough resources. Action. Dang. Can we get to that one? Provokes enough to have to shoot it. Okay, let's go here. Haha. -ha. I'll just take the normal one. Bump. Two left. Can we reach? Yes. There goes the hex. We might as well bless this out. There we go. We're going to skip Karlak, go into the bear, claw grab, done, skip, go to Lazelle, and kill the last warlock. Boom! There we go. Don't get too comfortable. We've got more combat coming up. We've got to go and take out this goblin over here. Now, our avatar is level 5, but as you can see, we're the only one. What we could do is go to camp 
kick the three characters out, then rejoin, and they will be on the same XP level as our avatar. But that's not. Uh, I'm not doing this too much messing around, and I know we've got lots more of mobs to kill. But for now, we are just going to split people up. We're going to go back into the druid. We're going to dismiss our wild shape. We're also going to end the concentration of the spike growth. Right. And then. Right. Okay. So, we're going to send Lazelle over here. We're going to send the druid. Whoops over there we're going to send Karlak uh, where is it where's the up there you can get there stop being annoying there's a ladder just here where well, there was used to be did I destroy it as it got moved Oh, we'll go around there and then our character will go down here tank uh, runs some alcohol turn off the campfire go down the ladder switch to this out we're gonna loot everything here Do we do this in bits so every, all the loot gets done pretty evenly? I believe as a high elf we've got a fire cantrip. We do. Let's take out the vines. This. Thank you. Uh, I thought there was one over there. There we go. And we're going to go over here. Go to Carla. Uber strength, we can jump up. Done. Go over here. Go back down here. Now, you may have heard a failed dice roll. That was a failed survival dice roll here. There's our spade. Shovel. Dig, dig away. We go back to the druid. Loot some more. There's Grat. Take all that stuff. Not really looking at what I'm looting, we're just going to loot everything. But we've already done that one. Done. We're going to go over here now. Over to Lazelle for all of Grat's treasure. Turn the tooltips off so we can actually see what's going on. Just going to keep coming back to that fire iron thing. We don't want to fire wine, even. All right. There's the chest. Take all that stuff. I think that's everything. We're now going to go over. Here, back to the druid, do this little bit. Another shovel for those keeping count. And then we're going to go and stand next to the food fire pit. Uh, uh, no, we've just done those out. So it's Carlax's turn now. You can see there in the top left hand corner, some there's some other mobs to kill. We're going to do that shortly. Send Carlax over there, back down to our avatar who has now found the chest open that up and our avatar goes for a little bit of a walk get down to Lazelle Bolo's broken loot his flute lots of loot in this place
And at this time, the only trader we have available is Aaron, who we know is out of gold from the last episode. Right, so that's all that bit done. Uh, well, where are the owl cub babies there? Look, we're not going to click on it or go too near, too close to it. We're actually going to come over here and up there. Down to the druid is going to attempt to loot all of this lot. Fed for very bad pathing as it keeps walking around. Um, the character has to walk around both sides. Apparently, you can't reach across the flames to get all of these. You have to uh, walk all over the place. Keep the tool tip off. I think we've already looted that one. Here we do. Okay. That's that done. We're now going to go over here. Go to Karlak. Right. Loot the skeleton. And this is why you need your rogue to do this bit because of all the traps. So, get the first one. There are three along this bit in case you don't get the perception rolls off. One down. Ah, oh, we've got all three. Good, good. Two down. Number three down. Go and get this chest which is also locked lovely jubbly open it up and we get a the glowing shield you've got a shield user you got access to this shield once you get this bit and some gold and other bits and bobs I've never found anything in this burrow but you know check it anyway okay now we need to go all the way back and up this crag rock. We go back to the avatar. He's down here now, and we steal the soap bar sponge. Can't steal the tub, so that stays there. And then we've got to go all the way over whoop, there into Azel. Turn two trips off again. Oh well, well might as well. There we go. That's that done. <laughs> I think we've looted these, but double check. Don't want to miss anything. Yep, we're done. Right. Now we want to be, I think the next spot is about there. Down to the druid to loot the stuff on these tables. Tooltips off again. Many tables. There we go. That's that bit done. And then we move. Turn that off. Go inside the tower there. Down to Karlak. It's on top of the rock now. And then it's about there. Yep, there's the backpack. Okay, grab that. There's a few herbs here as well. Where's that one? I think there's another one here somewhere. No, nope. right, let's find our shovel. So my Karlak needs her own shovel. I was often wondering and does the does the rogue thing nothing? Uh, I could go for a nap too. Yeah, alright. Is it here? Yes, there it is. And 
we go, grab all that, and then we reverse. I thought there was two herbs along here, perhaps I'm mistaken. Oh, I can't bother to find them. We're going to go all the way across and up into this rocky bit here. Go back to the avatar. We're climb up here and hope we get our perception check off. We did. Should be able to do this. Yeah, there it goes. Just walk through here and no, nope, it is. Oh, I've just picked up something. I know what that was. Yeah, it's there. It's here. These uh, the re the notes and stuff scattered around make for some interesting reading. Oh, there was stuff in that pot and in that one. That's a nice change. Crew chest is lockpicked, so we need to lockpick it. Lovely. Open it up. And then we get a great axe plus one and some other bits and bobs. Right, so now we are done with the um, avatar over here. So we use the waypoint to jump back into Goblin Camp. And head over to the owl bear cub. Switch to Lazelle, who's going to loot this area. That's that bit done. And then Lazelle is going to go all the way over here. Switch to the druid, who's now is inside the tower. So I can actually see everything in here. There's a broom and another shovel. I've seen some people go through the entirety of Act 1 and not have a single shovel. Um, but <laughs> still don't understand why. There are plenty there. Then the Druid is going to go up here. Down to Karlak. He should be in place. Yep. He Search for skeleton, get a giant finger, which is great. And there's also a hand axe there. Karlak is now finished. Again, waypoint system to Goblin Camp. There we go. And then she is going to go over to the avatar. About here. And now, with our animal speaking, we'll speak to the Albert Cup. Mother gone. Hungry. You uh, have camp. You're welcome there. Maybe. He runs away. Only time will tell if he'll reappear. There we go. Off he goes. We now go up this ladder. We'll switch to those out. Stand here. You can come here before going to the owlbear cub and uh, the owlbear cave. The owlbear cub is not here. Instead, there is something else here. And if you want one of the steam achievements, you do in fact have to do that. You have to come here without going into the owlbear cave. We picked up something we didn't want to pick up. Where's it gone? There it is. Oh, I want to turn it off. Thought it was already on. There's a herb down there. Go and get that. Karlak will now pick up the rest of the items from these tables. That's it. Now Karlak will go up and join the druid in this kind of little staging area here. And as they will continue to search all these boxes. 
for stuff. We can open that one. Again, never remember what's around, so I'm just looking everywhere because we want that gold. As you saw at the last episode, we transferred nearly 7,000 gold to our stash because it was just hanging around. And we've still got about 3,000 gold on us, so we are plenty stacked. Druid's done, so now the Druid and Karlak will just wait here in like this little staging area. So we don't need to worry about those anymore. And our avatar is up here to search this little pile of junk. There's actually in fact three pictures hidden here which sell quite nicely. Oh, four actually. I've only ever found three. Ah, controller wins again. I don't want to go down the ladder. Stop it. Oh, that's better. No. Oh, man. Oh, well. All right, we need to go up and here. Switch to Lazel. Pot. Crate. That was um, our avatar searching the crate up there. No, steel, 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 steel. Turn off that torch. That's it while we're here. Turn off this one. This one. This one. And the last section is to go down there right and then we've got the uh, dirt mound with our avatar some nice scrolls is there anything else in the area yes some alcohol which we'll pick up and then the last thing to do is to turn this off and then again, with our avatar, we'll go over to the staging area. And lastly, Lazelle will search this little bit of area here. I didn't realise that was a move, wasn't reading. Right, and then Lazelle will go up here as well and join this slot. Excuse me, Lazelle. Oh, we do she told. Why can't you get there? Why not? Oh, because we dropped the what's it there. Okay, we'll just do a bit of a jump then. There we go. We blocked ourselves in. There we go. Everyone goes into stealth and then we walk up along here. Pick up this herb, go a bit closer. Is that another herb? No, it's not, it's just decorative. Okay, so what we're going to do now, because we now have a fire arrow we found, somebody's got a fire arrow they found somewhere. I know I did, I saw it. There it is. We're going to blow up this fire one barrel and hopefully take out these two goblins. Like that. And there goes Karlak and Lazel to level 5. We're back into stealth. And we're going to loot these two bodies. Ah, there's the herbs. Oh, I thought they were down... There, they're not there up here. There are the sleeping ones, 27 it is 
Um, we're going to try attempt to steal all the alcohol first before we engage in combat. Like that. And then we're going to go very carefully over he here. That's it, because there are some more over there. And then we'll open this barrel. There is a warlock oh, that stands up here, which uh, if you don't aggro it in the big fight, just runs away um, in, while you're looting. If you want to kill him, you could get up here quicker, but it doesn't drop anything major. Right then, let's use some more of our key points and try and one-shot this sleeping... Big bear. Awesome source. And then we've got our action left to take out this one. Or not. But we've got all our people in stealth over here. So the next thing we'll do is use our bar to shoot this one. Yep. And that crit kits. And there goes the druid. Now the druid is still in stealth and not in combat. So technically you could level up. Not gonna. But you could. Come on, Karlak. Let's get a good old throw in. I'm not bothered if the thing doesn't come back. So this should kill it. Oh, path. Path, path, path. Why is the path thing? Oh, because of the height. No. Nope. Path interrupted. Okay, let's see if we can fail a stealth roll. There it goes. But we're still in front of him, initiative wise. So hopefully we can oh, get out of the way. Path interrupted. Boom. Select the druid, take them out of stealth. There we go. Still not going to do level ups yet. Perception failed. Oh, I know why. Yeah, we're going to go around here. Hopefully, someone will get there. It is. Right, we separate Karlak. Karlak goes over here. Uh, actually, no, we've got a monk. Where's our uber monk? Can they punch their way through the wall? Yes, they can. Lovely. Right, like Karlak's going to go in here. Right, we are now above where Drow Raskin was. And the reason we've come in with Karlak is she's our rogue. Normally you wouldn't get that quest update because you do this um, after fighting Draw Rasklin. What, sh what I should have done is kill Draw Rasklin, done a short rest, and then gone and done the Goblin Camp. And then done one long rest. But this works out a little bit as well so there are uh, a few chests up here we're going to try and find all of them I've done a thorough search through it took me about an hour once and I found six chests uh, to pick up I'm going to try and remember where they all are I uh, count with me so that's one there's another one I, yeah there's number two there we go Come along here a bit. Yep, there's number three. Just see it in the dark there. There are multiple ladders throughout the goblin area that you could come up here, and then everything is connected via jumps and knowing which way to go. Which is why we bring Karlak. Uh, a, she's our rogue, and B, She's got the elixir of giant strength so she can make all the jumps. To do these jumps you need a strength of at least 16. And um, also need to be a rogue. Because I'm pretty sure one of the chests is locked. Well not a rogue, just someone with high dexterity. So that's chest number 4 if you're counting. 
Um, where is... There's a crate over here, which we'll go and get. Don't do that. Don't like top-down view. Makes me confused. There we go, we get that. Um, I'm trying to remember everything is. There isn't a chest or a crate, but there is loot over here. Grease bowl. I think that's it for this section because everything else is broken. You can't get across there. I've tried and there's nothing there. That's just above Dry Raskin's treasure hoard. Uh, I think that's it. So I'm <laughs> this is a bit I normally forget to do, so I haven't done this as much as the rest of the game. I think that's everything. Now I've just got to find remember the way back. Which is back over here, is it? Oh man, oh there it is, there it is, that's where you want to be, over there. Okay, now we need to find, um, ah, there it is, is that the bit I'm looking for? Yeah, chest number five is over here. And we need to jump over this little bit of a wall, bop, and go get chest number five. There's also a herb here as well, we'll get that, ah, there's the sixth chest, just over there, look. They do have to jump down from this little ledge. But if you've got enough strength, you can get it all in one go, almost. And then up here to this little ledge. Boom, and there it is. There's number six. There we go. And then what we need to do is jump to there. Jump up to this little ledge. Okay, maybe not. We're going to jump over here and get this box for that lot. I think we can actually walk along here. I know I, I've jumped up there before. I know I have. There it is. Boom. And it's chromatic scroll. And there's the valve, the pot. That's it. And that is it done. That is all the loot from the ceiling of the goblin camp. So now we just pop a waypoint back to the goblin camp. And now we go find the rest of the loot. We do this all with Carlac because it's just easier. You could split up the party and then do it like you've seen me do, where I split up the party, move one, move the other one. But at this juncture. Um, it is just easier to use one character, preferably your strongest character, that also happens to be a rogue. Right, we've done that. Come on. Go down these routes. Oh, actually, no. Can I? Have I got enough? I should have enough strength. If I get it right. Yep, there we go. Badoom. Walk along here. This is where the goblin warlock is. It's a couple of levels higher than the other goblins. Um, but if you kill all the goblins and then loot like I did, it, it runs away. It doesn't have any special loot. It's not worth that amount, that great amount of XP. Uh, and invariably, most of the time, I just forget it's there anyway. So what I need to do. <laughs> is move the stall out of the way and then we can get to this section here usually have they changed it and they've changed it do we need to move this one as well it used to be just the stall yeah we used to be able to make this jump as well yeah we still can there we go we bomb there's a chest over here under this stone pagoda. 
There we go. There's also a bird nest over here we can loot and a herb. So we pick up the herb. And we get the bird's nest. Oh, I forgot I need to jump. Random what you get in there, it could be anything in there. Now I can't remember if we can make this jump across there or I have to go a different way. Oh, we need to jump again, don't we? Can't remember if we can make that or not. No, we can't. Boom, there we go, over to this side. There's the chest. Nice bit of loot that way, and then we come this way. Oh, might as well pick up the bone while we're here. Jump across to this one. Can't remember if there's anything here or not. Yep, potion of healing. There we go. Back over here. Grab this trunk, and there we go. Back to our members. Now we do our level up, which means I need to open up my spreadsheet for leveling, which is here. Hopefully, go on the correct screen. It did. Good. Right. Ah. One, no, wrong button. There we go. So we now get font of uh, bardic inspiration. So our bardic inspiration now goes on a short rest. That's even more um, flourishes because we're College of Swords, and we get another one d eight bardic inspiration. Yay! And a new spell. Spell choice is really up to you what you want to do here. There's multiple options you could go for. You could go for enhance ability to help out with uh, chats and stuff. You could go with uh, glyph of warding for a one use kind of damage thing. You could also go for plant growth, which is the one I tend to go through because it doesn't require concentration. Um, it just it's just it lasts ten turns and it slows everyone down. And we're mostly a range build at the moment with a couple of frontliners. But uh, alternatively, you could go for hold person. We could go the stealth um, option and have invisibility. There's also cloud of daggers as well. So all those are really good options in this particular playthrough, though. I am going to go for plant growth. There's our cantrip invisibility because we're Dwergar. We don't want to change any spells. So that's our bar done. Goes into the next one, which is our druid. Oh, I clicked off because I was looking at the spreadsheet. Sorry, my um, one of my medical conditions is starting to affect me. Um, I have rhinitis, which is um, sensitivity to smells, powerful smells, and scents can be. Dodgy, random, eye watering, nose watering, uh, sneezing, and or coughing, all rolled into one. And my eyes are doing a number of me, specifically my left eye, which is where my mic is at the moment. So my left eye is just watering a wa waterfall at the moment. Um, uh, what do we want here? I'm actually going to go enhance ability on the druid uh, because it's usually in better form. So, and we've got plant growth on the bard. Actually, no, we're going to go for sleep storm, I think. And then we're going to get rid of drop ice knife. What we've we got for level one? Fairy fire and healing word. That's fine. Uh, I think I want enhance ability. There we go. We'll do that. That's a druid done. On to our monk, which is Lazel, of course. I'm looking at the wrong spreadsheet, that's what I got confused. Not much to do, um, 
on our monk. Um, it is just get additional key point, extra attack, and you start getting stunning strikes. Which is cool. And as a Githyan key, we get Misty Step once per long rest, which is awesome. And then finally, we get our Barbarian Rogue Thrower. His build hopefully is on here. Nope, oh, I have got the wrong spreadsheet open. That is not helpful. Let me just open the correct one. Yes. Right, level 1 Barb, level 1 Rogue. Then Barbarian, 4 levels to level 6. Okay. So this is what four. This is level five. So we're sticking with the barb. Oh, let's select the game so our controller works. We don't worry about that. We don't use that ever. But you know, it's a nice one. Ooh, we finally get our feet. I'm confused. Oh, okay. I know why. I know what's happening here. It's fine. I've done the stats slightly incorrectly. Um, I'll have to respect Karlak, but that is cool. We're actually we're supposed to do something else, but right now we are just going to take alert, um, and I'll respect her um, in a minute when we get into camp. There we go. That's all our level fives. So we are now going to go to the correct waypoint <laughs> we're going to dip into camp boom we are going to talk, get Karlak to go and see Withers because I messed her build up fate dost thou require as thou desire there we go Alright, level one barbarian. <sighs> okay, so what we need to do is need to drop that and put that up to 17. And then have intelligence 10, wisdom 14, 16, 17. That's, that's better. <sighs> Leave the skills alone. We're not touching the skills. It should be. Oh no, they've reset the skills, or did I choose different ones? Not sure why we did that. Okay. Oh, wrong button. That button. There we go. Red class. Rogue. Slight of hand. Yep. Uh, expertise. We can't choose stealth, which is annoying. But we can choose perception. Hold on, where's the other expertise? Should be in. Yeah, sleight of hand and perception. That's it. There we go. We do not want rogue. We're going back into barb. Yeah, continue legacy thing. Ah, do 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 do. Tavern brawler. You make an unarmed attack, use an improvised weapon, or throw something. Your strength modifier is added twice. And because we are using. Plus one constitution, make our constitution 18. Because we're using a throwing weapon and the elixir of giant strength, our strength is 21 and therefore our proficiency is uber. We're not going to talk 21, we are just going to go straight for a camp visit, long rest. Oh, hello. What's proking? Oh, House yeah. Well, and you know what happens when you're naughty. God damn it. Anyone but her. You flatterer. Why, if I had a warm heart, I'm sure it would be skipping. Call me Mazora. And his leash needs a yank. We had a deal. 
will. I've taken more pleasant shit. That's no kind of talk. Zariel said. How precious. Clause G, section 9. Target shall be limited to the infernal, the demonic, the heartless, and the soulless. Karlak meets the criteria by virtue of having no heart. That's changed. She never used to say that, and you could see the little cinematic skip there. And this is all new options as well, I think. Um. The point? Oh, yes. Oil burns in the fires of Avernus. The lightning storms of Dis strike his flesh. His soul passes through each layer of the hells, gaining their essence and their torment. have you done the promise broken we'll get used to the new form per now let's Karlak keep an eye I'll be keeping mine on you oh and will there we go let's talk to Karlak as she's closer I'll be honest soldier been a long time since someone stuck their neck out for me like that Gobsmacked, really. But okay. Quickly go and see Will over here. Oh no, Gail's got speech. Loads of people got speeches. And Shadowheart. Okay. All right. I'm gonna go and see Gail first because we're caught trying to court Gail. Even in such fraught times as these, I used to while away many hours just like these with my companion. She preferred it when we were alone. Curled up before a crackling hearth with some ancient esoteric tome. Oh, not everyone is comfortable being alone with their thoughts. I speak of Tara, my Tressen. She'd be proud to see me keep. After I was afflicted with my condition, I've given up on myself. She has a good heart. I should recognize the same in your actions here. I'm sure she'd approve of me lending myself to your smart does her a disservice she's a fine wizard in her own right though remind me of her somewhat wish she were here for me to make a formal introduction besides she was always telling me i needed to spread my wings so to speak find mortal friends instead of hanging on to mistress coattails so that's what i'm doing i hope Uh, very funny. But as we all know, nymphs are sticklers when it comes to their bathing routines. You, my friend, haven't been near a fresh spring in a ten day or more. Not that I don't appreciate your... musk. Actually rather like it. Well, this seems as good a time as any for me to stop babbling on. No, we are going to go with option one. Again, I've not experienced this dialogue at all, so it's all new to me. Hmm. Were I to recite that list, I fear we'd be here at dusk tomorrow. Many things, I assure you. But a conversation better saved for another time. With my condition as volatile as it is, I fear any undue... excitement may tip it over the edge. So to speak. Go. Enjoy your evening. Nothing better for the heart than a good night's rest. And mine is gladdened to know I'll have the pleasure of your company again come morning. Oh, wow. As I said, I've never experienced um, this particular uh, plot or dialogue before. So it's all new to me with Gale. Let's go and see what Shadowheart has to say. This is going to be a long episode. Uh, <laughs> Something's wrong. I feel... I feel... Ah. Ah. 
hurts. Darkness, protect me. I... It's difficult for me to talk about. I'm sorry. Here we go. We are going to do a little bit of a quick save here. Or a save, anyway. I really want to get this... Um, check done because this opens up shadow hearts storyline so going to select everyone's gathered around we've got advantage no guidance though so this is going to be a quite a difficult role oh lovely nailed it you're not going to let this go are you i worship shah the mistress of the night boom now that you have the truth, please don't make a big fuss about it. The Goddess of Secrets. How telling. Um, option two, I think. Forever, ideally. And you assume too much about what I can and cannot tell. Secrecy is everything for Shah's children. It's our code, our creed, our shield. I'm not sorry I kept this from you. Not one bit. And despite her Though demeanor, perhaps that might her change. approval hasn't changed. If you can show an open mind. Uh, because I like to keep Shadow Heart approval high, and we're going to be using her uh, in Act 2, we're going to go along this and try and get that approval rating higher. So we're going to go option 1. Talk to me later. This day's been long enough already. There we go. Right. Astarian's, um, I thought Astarian had something to say, but never mind. We'll go over to Will now. God's damn her straight. Just look at me. I'd be hunting death, not Zariel. Warlock packs tend to be unforgiving from what you know of them. Will was lucky he didn't face a more severe punishment. Option two. I'll say what I can. It's Mazor before I was infected. But I promise you, every thrust of my blade and every flame I sparked was for the good of the coast. Option two. A possibility Gather's that's packed. kept me awake. But I don't have a clue where to start other than play her games and play by the rules. Option three, there must be a loophole. But there could well be. My contract is very... The only way out is if I can out-bargain her. Number We're one, standing beat here. Her we can. Together. I'm sure of it. Got a little bit of disapproval there from Shadowheart. I've not realised that before. Um, I'm sure Astarian wanted had an exclamation point, but we'll. Uh... So, Will did the right thing, and it earned him a set of horns. <laughs> Let that be a lesson to us all. Uh, let's just go to bed unless anyone pops up with uh, talking. Nope. Right. Let's find some food. Another pack. As you can see, we've got. <laughs> fair few number of um, supply packs that we have found along our journey which is why we sell all our food because we really don't need it but gold on the other hand oh dreamer i promised i'd be back don't worry you haven't been using the parasite's power. I knew there was something else I needed to do. You, but things haven't gone as you expect. You hoped a druid as you're desperate to be rid of it. Understandable. Your parasite is unusual. Until the source of the tadpole's magic is destroyed, you were lucky that Halcyn knew that the parasites are merely a symptom of a greater sickness in favor. I am not sure yet. These parasites are more than a lithid spawn. The infected hear the voice of the absolute. That is how the cult of the absolute is spreading. When the order to transform is given, it will not be a. Were it not for my protection, so would you. I have powers of my own, just like you. I was infected with a mind flayer. I've been trying to escape from. Now, through you, if we work together, health, they need me. The power I use to protect, I will hold them off for us. You must discover this. The cultists are gathered. Use the powers. Go. Uh, 
Okay, let's uh, get our Speak With Animals up because I can see Scratch wants to talk to us. The dog holds a well-chewed ball in his mouth. You can get it, you can get him to hand it over and then you can play ball with him, but I, I get very tedious that very quickly. Now what we need to do is talk to a Starion for this quick second. I had another visit. It gave me another gift, too. Just like it did the first time it appeared. Rather generous. If and if that fails, then there's always killing them quietly. Now, was there anything else? We want him to be well, in our party. Obviously, I would. But you have so many fall. Well, in that case, boom. We're not going to level him up yet. Um, I want to talk to the camp first. Oh God, this is going to be a long dream. episode. It announced that a persuasive, a virtual. You have no idea what damage it could do to us. <sighs> How far into illithid madness it could drag us. Let's talk about something if else. It is as I had assumed our parasites served a Geich elder, but I believe they serve a greater master still. Perhaps. Whatever this voice, whomever this master, it dominates dreams and unites minds. I'm not going to go into the top two, I'll just leave the romance bit alone. Um, I want to talk to Gail as well. Dreaming of our enigmatic visitor again. She even offered me greater powers. Given the magnitude of what we're up against, I see no harm in considering the benefit this offer might afford us. Could be the only way to reach this source in one piece. As existential evils go, the absolute any opportunities for us to indulge our tadpoles' capabilities are hardly on the same scale. Trifles, when one considers the bigger picture. I assure you it's not. Don't get me wrong. You did well. But I was still your conduit. Yet it is life's most worthy pursuit in my impartial, if not humble opinion. Oh, I was surprised amid the madness that has befallen us. And yet, now more than ever, it's a stolen glance. That sudden heartbeat. Sometimes the little things are worth more than kingdoms. They promise things to come. Um, now we're going to leave him there for a minute. Right now, we're going to go all the way over to our trunk. <coughs> Actually, we're going to talk to Shadowheart first. I didn't intend for this episode to be so long, but whoever's reaching out to us, perhaps we truly have a secret protector. Or I was. He mentioned Dark Justicias, and we've come across other signs of a Sharon presence during our travels. I'm not sure I can dismiss that as a coincidence. You're straight to the point, at least. But still, I'm not sure you're ready for Shah's teachings. Not yet, at least. Let's go for the persuasion check here. No, quite a low one, so it should be fine. Very well. Perhaps there's potential in you. I am indeed a disciple. I assume you've heard of her. Um. Remind me, is the easiest option for approval? If you want to go with the other options, you can, but it may affect her approval. My Lady Shah is the Night Singer, the patron of darkness. Most fear the dark, but Shah teaches us pain. Sorry, I'm just getting quick through this, the but I'm aware how long this episode day. is. We shed those cloaks. Before Shah, we stand gloriously naked. Beyond the vanities of mortal. There's comfort, yes. We we destroy. There's often suffering. Death, even. Many people break before they embrace Shah's truth. Three, I'd be lying if it said it didn't sound convincing. You should tell me more sometime. You're wiser than most. Many people go. balk Approval at our doctrine. You've a habit of saying all the right things. Maybe both, knowing myself. But yes, once we've saved ourselves, we can talk more on this. All right, now we access our camp stash, which is going to be an absolute mess. 
uh, but we do need to get in there and sort stuff out now where are where did I put them I'm sure I had more maybe I didn't did I keep them all on me I've got three only three oh well let's munch some tadpoles we should be able to do some do it now boom and uh, then we need to go down and be near Starion for this next bit. Don't know if the te new text is there. We have yet to well, get power. No tentacles yet. I suppose we can consider that a success. Okay. Now let's go into our new powers. Three, and we're going to go for favorable beginnings. Boom. Two left. We'll talk to a Starion again. I'm looking for a particular yes. outcome. He hasn't got it. Okay, I've not done anything. That's a bit weird. But fine. Where's our druid hiring? There he is. This vessel is at thy disposal. Do what thou wilt. But the vessel only stares blankly. You'll need to make room in your party first. This soul awaits thy command. There we go. I was expecting a different result from Astarian to what he gave, but it's fine. Feeling illicit? You really did it, huh? Not worried about adding more illicit into the mix? Well, what can I say? You look fine, smell fine, seem fine. And yet, you're more mind flayer than ever. Hope you don't expect me to follow your lead in this. It is extremely difficult to get Karlak to accept the tadpoles. And because I want Karlak as a main member of my party, I do not want to upset her. So, I always go with option three, not at all. I did try to get her persuade once, and it went very badly. Good. And you know, keep an eye on yourself. If you start feeling loopy, shout. We don't know what these tadpoles are capable of. Okay. We'll go over and speak to Shadheart, see if she's got anything to say about our tadpole usage. It was bad enough having just one of those tadpoles forced upon us. I can scarcely believe you actually inflicted another on yourself. So we go to option three. On one hand, they seem useful. But on the other hand, or perhaps tentacle before long, we know where they're coming from and what lies at the end of that path. I never expected Ceramorphosis to be tempting. I think we should resist these powers. There's simply too many unknowns for us to risk it. Alright, this is where I do a lot of saves because I do want to unlock the power. I've decided I want to unlock the powers. Um, so we're going to try and get people to um, accept it. So, let's see if we can get Karlak. We've got our friends, which is why we take the friends uh, cantrip as a bard. Got all our bonuses. Oh, ha <laughs> Dirty 20. Well, perhaps you have a point. Fine. Let's explore these powers then. I just hope we don't come to regret it. Every time you have get someone to Your accept... Your dance card is full. Um, Lose a partner and there'll be room for... Wonderful. You need to get them to have a tadpole for purposes of later on. So we are going to go into our tadpole powers and give Shadow Heart a favorable beginnings, I think. Nope. Do we need to put one in here? Oh wow, it takes one to unlock on a companion. I didn't know that. Okay, fine. Um, 
I don't really want to put any more in her head at the moment because we've only got one left. So we are now going to move on and um, see if we can get Lazelle to take one. I'm going to do a quick save here. I'm not going to do anything about uh, Shadow Heart's level yet. Come on, where are you gone? Oh, that's Shadow Heart. We don't want Shadow Heart. We want the Avatar. Kincha! No good will come of devouring a gay worm, no matter what you might think. Number three. Mark my words. This power would be no blessing, but a curse. You might as well ask me to gouge out my eyes for the promise of sight, or slice off my tongue for the promise of taste. Consume all the gay tadpoles you wish. I'm not so craven. There we go. There's a persuasion roll. So again, we do a little bit of safe scum here. As a monk, having tadpole powers for Lazelle could be devastatingly good. So, let's have a look. See if we can get this off. Oof. We do have an advantage. But still, what have we got? Plus 12. We need an 8 or more. And we've got inspiration. So, let's go. Ha <laughs> Nat 20! Booyag! No, that's absurd. When the tadpole has stretched to every pore and slithered through every vein, what am I to do then? It won't hear my screams. It won't care if I beg. I will be remade in its image. My faith in Vlacketh will guide me, and my own might will sustain me. I have no need of this depraved power. Okay, let's have a look at these options. Now, Lazelle prides herself on being a warrior and powerful, so I'm hoping option two is the way to go. It's still all persuasion, which is one of our best skills. So, let's see if we can get this off. Situational, oh, and it's dropped. We've only got a plus nine on this one, though. No longer plus 12, so... Once again, we're going to do a little save point after that nat 20. Try and get this one off. Oh, look at that. Cheeky 18. Lovely jubbly. You, you might be right. The Githyanki have long studied Geich and used what we've learned. The Zaithisk itself was devised from such knowledge. The tadpole is perhaps not just a curse, but a weapon I can twist and mould to my advantage. Very well. I will swallow my disgust and avail myself of the parasite's powers. Booyah! Right, let's select um, Lizelle and get her munching. Lovely. Awesome. Right, so now we go over to our druid friend and get them back into our... Where's he gone? Oh, there he is. Oh, do a quick save. This vessel is at thy disposal. Do the vessel only stares blankly. Boom, there we go. Lovely jubbly. All right then, let's get our uh, buffs all up again. Kind of wasted a, a two elixirs because I messed up, but never mind, can't be helped now. So our inventory out quickly. And I think we're gonna need to, oh God, I've got loads of junk. Okay, let's uh, pop out. We're going to go and see Aaron, sell some of our stuff, and uh, 
<coughs> that'll end. Oh, excuse me. I'll end part two. I've now got level three long strider. Not that great when you've only got a party of four, but if you've got summons, it's really cool. Right, come on in, let's go. Come on. Let me move. Go, 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 go. Should have done a save at the goblin camp for level five, and I forgot. And should have more money now because we are a higher level. It'll take a while for us all to, of course. Nope, still about eight hundred. That sucks. Okay. Well. Let's steal all of that then. No, not steal it, sorry. Uh, use that. Have a look. I don't think he's going to have anything we want. Tooltips off. He's got an Illmater. We'll take that. Doesn't appear to have any decent scrolls. What's that one? Slow, no. Stone skin, no. All the decent scrolls aren't here, like um, Fireball. Nothing. Nothing. Any dyes or. A couple of balsam, we'll take that. Herb. Don't think Karlak needs any blue dye. Where's all that blue dye gone? Um. Alright, perhaps I haven't done it on this save. I'll buy the blue dye, because I might not have any. Dagger root, that makes ashes. Yes, please. We need ashes. No grass. Suspension, no. Pale orange, orange for a starion, we might as well. Ocean, muddy red, no. It's a vitriol, we don't want that. And that is a yellow dye, yes it is. Um, actually, have I'm carrying my dye on me? Or have I left it all in the stash? I think I might have left it all in the stash on this particular save, that's Lazel. Got 17, okay, so I need three yellow dye to cap me out perfect there we go so we're up to 999 all right then we're just going to sell anything and everything to Aaron now because we don't come here a lot anymore so I'm not really no I don't want that what's that oh, I actually do yeah Rolling Thunder I hate those Keep the water. What is that? That's dark vision. Vigilance. Want to keep that. Greater. We want to keep that. Accuracy. No, that can go. They can go. All the food. Darkness can go. No, that can go. All of the scrolls. Oh no, not that. We want that. Actually, no, because oh no, we do want that. Where's it gone? There it is. Oh, stop doing that. This can't 
Parallax die. Don't need that now. Parallax got a lot. Right, go back up here. Oh god, look at all this junk I'm carrying around. Want to sell some stuff of one stuff that sells for one now? And get rid of the junk more than uh, making significant amounts of money now uh, we are very close to running out of the funds he has available 68 and one of those 69 there we go boom may you keep balance keeps our inventory a little bit tidier oh and I forgot to sell the Bags again. Month. Uh, right. Did we buy? I thought we brought. Oh, maybe not. Right. That goes to camp. Where's the crusher ring? We want the crusher ring on us. That goes to Karlak. That goes to Karlak. That goes to camp. Gold to the avatar, gold to the avatar, herbs to the avatar. No, not that one, not that one, that one, and that one to camp, that to camp, that to camp. Clark should be wearing those. She isn't. Why? I don't know. <gasps> oh, okay. Doesn't look like we've dyed her shoes, so we're going to do that now. Yeah, it looks a little bit bluer. Okay, she is now... Oh, we've got the shield there. Um, I'm never going to use the shield. So we're going to pop it onto the druid. The druid's going to hold all the junk now, just to keep everything nice and tidy, I think. Uh, speaking of which, has it got anything that needs... Oh, God, he's full up of junk. That's fine. Is there anything here we want to keep? That can go to Juliet. That can go to camp. Um. Yeah, okay, well, uh, that can go to camp. He doesn't need them. Okay, he's got not a lot of space. So we're going to have to do this piecemeal. That goes to Karlak. Because we missold it. Right, let's. I'm going to have to do this piece by piece because it's very close to being encumbered. It should tell us if he comes encumbered. Doing the heavy things first. Or what I think is heavy anyway. Five, that's fine. It should tell you, sometimes it doesn't, which can get annoying. 
they're not going to weigh anything much. We'll send all that lot in one go. I'm fed up. Right, let's go. Let's just. Dump. Right, we've got some stuff to open here and sort out. Is there any flasks? No, no one don't want to do that. Let's find the herbs. It should be in the herb bag. Kit there that goes to Karnak and that goes to the druid as well. I've got to keep those on the main character because they can't be sold from anything other than the avatar. Slightly annoying, but that's the way it goes. Right, that's everything, and he's now encumbered, and we've got no warning of that, which sucks. Right, so we are now going to dump it on uh, Lazelle. There we go. Yeah, we can't use braces temps because we can't wear armor or have a shield, so and we've got the spur band anyway. Alright then, I think we are finally done. Everything is sorted and we can safely call that the end. Let's just get to the correct waypoint. Whoops, not that button. That one. All right, there's going to be a few saves here. First of all, we're going to register it's level five for my peace of mind. That's that one done. We're also going to make note of the tadpoles. So, uh, shark and lay. Tadpole, can we fit Lazelle in there? Make me happier if we can. Oh, lovely, jubbly. And then we are going to put another save in. <laughs> End of episode 10, part 2. There we go. And then we are going to... Oh, come on. And then we're going to tidy up all those saves here. And just uh, delete all of these. Now all five. There's a note to who's got tadpoles. Um, I don't need that one anymore. No, I'll leave that one actually. Oh, there we go. I hope you enjoyed this uh, especially long episode. Sorry for 
missing it out and doing it slightly wrong but uh, it's all done <laughs>